Hello everyone and welcome back to my course on Google Certified Educator Level 1. This is the third video we are going to see today and I have divided the course in four modules and today we're going to look at the third option here that is drive. Now most of the educators and teachers are aware of how Google Drive works but I thought let me create a quick lesson just to reiterate the you know past learnings or the knowledge each of you have there are a lot of times you would get confused on sharing the folders and file permissions now this aspect has to be clear when you go for the exam because there is a lot of sharing and file permissions involved so go through this video even if you are aware of the settings so that you can cross check the knowledge you currently have. Now we would log in into Drive. Now if you are not used Drive before, the link is drive.google.com. You would type that on the browser. Then log in into your G Suite ID. Now the first task we have on our hand is we are a school, for example. XYZ school and uh, we want to create a main folder with the school name and subfolders with the standards. So what I would do is I would create one folder as XYZ school and three subfolders like standard one, standard two or grade one, grade two and grade three. Let's make it that. So one folder and three subfolders. So login into drive.google.com, click on new folder. Now, as soon as you click on new folder, it pops up pop-ups and it tells you, okay, enter the school name. So let's enter the, the school name here. Now entering the school name and clicking on create, creates a new folder, XYZ school. Now, because I need to create two subfolders inside it, I would double, I will just double click on it. So it shows you that it's empty right now. So we'll go on new. Again, we'll go on new folder and we will create a folder as grade one. And we'll go on new, we'll create grade two. And we'll go on new again and click on create three. So that's it. That was so easy. You have one main folder XYZ school and you have three subfolders in it. Now, when you click on this folder once or double click, when you double click on the folder, then your path becomes my drive. XYZ school and grade one. So any work which is related to grade one can be created here. And any work which is related to grade two, just double click on grade two and that subsequent thing can be done in that particular folder. Now let's see what is get file link. Now Get file link, sharing folders and permissions are all interlinked, okay? Because even if you get the file link, but the file permissions prevent it from sharing it with people. Then even if you share that file link, it will not work if there is some problem with the permissions. Here. So let's see, let's go on drive. We'll go on the root folder of Drive. We will click on a document like four C's in education. We'll just do a single click. We right click on this. If you click on get shareable link, that's where you get the shareable link there. Now this link you can just copy and paste 
So if you can just copy this link and paste it in an email, you can send it across to people. But if you actually look at the link below, only people add it. So this is a restricted link. So it is restricted to only people added who can open with this link. So I have not shared this link with anyone yet, right? I didn't click on that link. So let me again right click, go and get shareable link. So you can get the link by right clicking on it. But let's look at two options here. That is first option, which is share with people. Second option is restricted. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to click on this triangle here. Now 4C Technologies Academy is your organization. So here it may show you your own school name. So you have three, three kinds of settings here for permissions is restricted. Okay, so why is it restricted? Because I want it to only be shared with people who I have shared the file with. So only those people can see this link. If I click on this, that means anyone in my organization, if he gets this link, can view the link. Okay, anyone in my organization. The third option I have here is anyone with the link. So that is anywhere outside. Okay. So my purpose in this activity was I want to get the link of the file and I want to keep a permission as anyone with the link. Then I would just click on copy the link. So that link is copied in the clipboard. And then what I could do is go on Gmail, click on compose. Type the mail and press control V type the recipient and click on send. So that's how I get the shareable link. I give permissions to it and I send an email. Now, if you look at sharing the folder option, we look into restricted organization and anyone let's understand what is sharing the folders or sharing the file look like for view, edit and comment. Now we'll right click the same file. This time instead of going on get shareable link, we go on share. Now what I would do here is add the email ID. Okay. And if you're seeing this drop down here, three links, editor, viewer, and commenter. So by default, sharing, if you saw it was showing as editor, but what happens is if you make someone editor of your file, then what happens is you and that particular person both can make changes. So you do this setting only if you want to collaborate between your students or you want to collaborate amongst your teachers, like one file, you know, you want three, four people to work on simultaneously. So everybody can get a different place and start working. If you do not want to do that, you will click on viewer. Now making this person viewer means that person can just view the file and not change the contents of your file. Remember, just view the file and not you know, look at the changes, uh, not edit the file. The third option is commenter. Now this, if you give the setting, then this person is, will be allowed to comment on your file. Now you would do the setting normally for your child, for your student who's, uh, who you're teaching is that he wants, he should be able to submit your work, but then you should be allowed to comment on that work so that he gets a feedback on the document. Okay. And then once you do that, it's a good practice to click on notify people and send. So that person gets an email in inbox that this so-and-so file is shared with you with this setting, whether it's commenter, viewer or editor. 
and then you click on send and he receives that file okay so i hope it was clear for all of you creating the folders and subfolders getting the file link sharing the folders and file permissions now get file link and file permissions are sort of interlinked so you it decides you define there whether this file is restricted or it's for the entire organization or it's for anyone who has a link anywhere in the public who has that link thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next session